I asked myself today and say, yo, you know, am I doing the right thing, you know? Am I doing the right thing? It just, it feels so right. It's a struggle, you know? It's a struggle. It's not perfect. Nothing is. Um, but I asked myself, am I doing the right thing? And, um, you know, I have to ask myself because I have to be self-aware for for me, you know? And I think people should be rooting for me, you know? For the most of my life, people have been rooting against me. But I think people should be rooting for me because I'm more like you than most of these other people that you think you're more alike. Like, you're probably more like me, and we're probably more like each other. We probably have more in common. And that's why I root for the underdog, because I've always been the underdog. You know, I was just taking some shots out here, and it's just frustrating, because today, as I shoot around, like, I'm hitting shots, and my whole life I've yearned to be a top-notch shooter. It's never been, I've never been a top-notch shooter. I just have not been, no matter how much I work on it. I have never been just a knockdown JJ Reddick, Kevin Durant, just a knockdown shooter. You know, it's always been streaky for me and it's always been something that I've always yearned to be that I will probably never be at this point, right? Um, but it's off and on yesterday, like I couldn't hit a shot. And I know it's just shooting around, but today I'm like, just, the, you know, I know the feel of my shot. And the reason I'm saying this is because, you know, sometimes we yearn to be something that we will never be, you know? And we have to embrace what we are. And we still can work on, you know, being other things and, you know, things that we we aspire to be, but we should embrace the things that we actually are. You know, I was, you know, 6'6", six, six, left-handed, slasher, can hit threes, very, very, you know, very good uh, handle, ball handler, uh, can see the floor, very good defense, very good rebounder. And all of those things, and I'm not a knockdown shooter, I should have been embracing the things that naturally come to me and working on those things. Sort of like Dennis Rodman, like he never was a shooter. He never, you know, he was a rebounder, you know, and he embraced that. And that's what I noticed when, you know, like when guys were turning pro, what they did, they embraced what they did and they did that great, you know? Um, but as far as like the underdog, I think most of us are the underdog. The anointed ones, the ones that have always had the praise, they've always had people behind them. Um, I don't care nothing about them. I only care about the underdogs because I'm an underdog. Coming from where I come from, East Side, Buffalo, New York, who would have thought that I would be here? Today, we are back at milestone one of my sports tech company, All Dreams, which our mission is to support 1 million dreamers, 1 million athletes worldwide, okay? With our platform. If we can do it, man, that would be a lot of impact. But Eastside Buffalo, New York, Basketball took me out of there. Still stumbled. Stumbled many times. Had to find a way to continue to play college basketball. Um, went through that. Found myself in a junior college in South Carolina after two years in a junior college in Buffalo, New York, and just didn't work out all the way to junior college in South Carolina, all the way 
after that year to Bethune Cookman. Didn't play. Went pro. Signed with an agent. Couldn't go back to school. Went to Argentina. Spent spent some time there. Got cut. Come back. Life out of control. Two years later, find myself in prison. Come home. Got two daughters. What do I do now? Right? Create something. Not knowing how to do it. Created a way for myself. Still wasn't as successful as I wanted to be. Create something else. Find purpose. Have my third daughter. Get charged again by the feds for something I didn't do. Father dies, grandmother dies. Start another business. Point is, fuck it, start another business. Thought I was gonna be with a girl for marriage. Didn't work out. Lost everything. Had to sell, you know, so had to sell the store. You know, start from scratch. Start something else, create something else. That takes me on a journey. Quit that. You know, somebody, you know, somebody gave me, a, you know, tried to give me an option deal for, for, for something I created. I declined it. Um, started putting my footage together into a movie. Didn't get so. Find myself in my dream condo. Wasn't fulfilled. Started another company. Somebody invested 70, 70, 80 thousand dollars with me. Started another company. Wasn't fulfilled. Stopped doing that. Came to Columbia on vacation, met a kid. Gave up on his dream. Now all this time I suppress my athletic journey. I suppress sports. I suppress basketball for 20 years. Um, figured out that I should be helping athletes that were just like me, that need support, that need exposure, that need financial support. Started this company. Got an office in Columbia. Started supporting dreams of athletes. Company almost got stolen. Documented it all from 2005 all the way up to now. Point is, man, it's been ups and downs and it's been successes, it's been failures. We are more alike and you should be rooting for me because I'm rooting for you. See you guys tomorrow, peace.